doing something I've never done before today. Well, it's Monday. Filling trucks. Elevator weren't open today. Me guys started today. Dalton right. Say hey, Dalton. Hey, guys. How you liking it? So far, so good. You had to kill me up. <laughs> I did blow up yesterday at my house. Me used to say, you don't spray too much. Um, starting fluid on charcoal and then decide to light it in the grill I lost everything so my girlfriend said we should have got that on video it was the biggest ball of flame she's ever seen the day's about to come to an end pretty good first day had one of the uh, tip holders back there for the nozzle but a little on the back boom a little tick came off so I had to go John Deere get a part, so shout out to them for coming in on July 5th and helping me get back going and give me that part, so thank you for that. I like to run the Haggy pretty good. The deer has a few more bells and whistles on it, so that makes it a little nicer, but this front boom sure is nice. And nice bill of fungus cider corn, I have to rely on an airplane. Well, today is Tuesday, July the 6th. Back home to the elevator that's closed yesterday. Find out a lot of places it's closed. We went to get batteries for the KW. Three of the four places to get batteries for Vincennes was closed, but the fourth one was open. So got those, got them in. Got a new guy started yesterday, Dalton Wright. He's home today. So it's a beautiful morning. Reese is spraying fungicide, him and Jay. The rest of us are trucking right now. David, he's running the irrigation. dewy this morning everything's sticking that's why we put we put a rear boom on we don't spray out the uh, center right here comes out comes out of the rear boom because can you imagine having uh, fungicide on that this is just from the dew of the morning cake in the windshield okay back down here at ADM Newburgh where we hauled all winter All more yellow corn. We got to get ours finished up. Maybe get it finished this week for the year. If not next week, first of the week. And then we got a landlord. We're gonna haul his corn. He has had in a bin, two bins since we started farming the farm. And we farmed it. This is the sixth year. So I think this fall that corn would have been in there seven years. He has kept it good and cool in the winter, never warmed it up in the summer, so it's going to be interesting to see how it comes out. You'll probably get to see a lot of YouTube on that. And uh, Katie heard from Eli yesterday. He will be down at Camp Pendleton on the 23rd of July. He didn't say because it was a short message from somebody else's phone, but we're hoping it gets to come home then for a little bit. So more on that later. Making headway. Me and Jay been at it all day. I've been spraying. He's been tendering. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Veltima, fungicide, pretty much medicine for the corn. Grizzly, insecticide, kill bugs. Something else to make the fungicide work better. Well, it's Wednesday. Got a little bit of rain last night, so every little bit counts. Me and Reese gonna be doing some fungicide. Got the Titanic filling up, and he went to go do a field this morning, and looks like it's gonna be a pretty good day. We definitely had a good day yesterday. We just about did 900 acres yesterday. 
Could have had a thousand acre day if we were in big fields, but we're hopping around all over the place. But uh, got a little layer start this morning because it rained a couple tents last night, so just letting it dry off just a little bit. Fungus sign's a little different than uh, spraying weeds. Spraying weeds, you want the dew off, it takes them up. Fungus side, it's okay to have some dew because you want those ears big and open because you're coating those ears with medicine pretty much, plus you're killing bugs while you're out there. So Sometimes in the middle of the day, you need to stop because it gets really hot and dry and those leaves roll up. They can't really take it in, but this rain should help us. I've only had two fields so far where I've seen any corn rolling any on some sand bumps, so looking good looking real good we've been working on irrigations three guys today we're spraying fungicide on corn i'm up here flat rock right now scouting the beans because we're going to start spraying beans with fungicide tomorrow down home they're ready they're ready these up here ought to be ready because they was planted early and they're a little bit earlier bean so we're gonna check them out. Everything comes at once in farming. A lot of stuff to do right now. These, I don't believe, are quite ready yet. These are more like, I'd say, Monday. If it didn't rain. We need uh, a few more nodes. See how they're branched out. We don't have many pods being set yet. So these right here I'm looking at are not ready. Ground's nice and damp here though. Corn over there and that good looking little bean. Corn over there, I think it's about right. It's starting to tassel out. Now, if anybody remembers, this flat rock area was our dry spot last year. Still had a decent crop, but it was pretty dry. This year, not the case. It's damp on top right now. It's had a shower lately, so it's pretty good. Corn looks great here. Everything looks good. Most of our corn fields, the bulk of it, Oh, at least 80, about 80 percent, maybe a little more than that. With the uh, hay, some fields is crooked. A lot of inroads and things were spraying within the plain. This field here, there's I forget 200 some acres in it, but I'm gonna have it sprayed with the plain just for the simple fact it's got a lot of waterways, a lot of turning, and a lot of inroads. I think it uh, would be a place to be better with the plane just for knocking things down. So it, uh, that's the way we'll do it. We're going to do the same thing with beans, do most of them with the sprayers, a little bit with an airplane. Get to be too much backing around on things to get things, it's just not really the right way to do it. Looking at this corn, boy, this is some mighty fine looking corn. Ground got a lot of moisture. This is just right to fungicide. Definitely moving the corn fungicider up here tomorrow. Corn's ready to fungicide with Veltima. It's got a big window. The beans are not quite ready yet up here. Our three fives up here are behind our three sevens down home. Um, I don't quite know why the three sevens was planted first, but not that much difference, but I guess enough to make a difference and then maybe a dab further north too. But anyway, they're not ready. Corn is and man, the crop looks really good right here. Really good. Corn is super tall, super tall. Looking good. This is 1464 AML Pioneer. Uh, see we got some gray coming in at the bottom. It's not up here uh, Leaf ear up That's what we're trying to cover keep them green keep them catching sunlight Little solar panels for our uh, corn engine here. Hopefully crank out some yield Another load 
Jay loading up some Veltima by Basif. I'm going to attempt to do a time lapse of us loading. Last time I did this, I lost a GoPro, so let's not lose it. <laughs> I should probably say I was wearing a mask because yesterday I got sprayed in the face with insecticide. It hurts so bad. It felt as bad as Jay's face looks. Look at that. Jay tried to blow himself up the other day. Yep. With a what is that? A bunch of lighter fluid? Yeah. Some charcoal. Yeah, I kind of gave the deets on a video over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know that. Yeah. I did burn myself pretty decent today on the muffler. That was due to some unexplained circumstances we're not gonna talk about but dudes dudes try for hazard pay we don't we don't pay hazard pay <laughs> Got the Heather semi out. Garrett is spraying beans, fungicide, and I am loaded up for Robinson. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. I'm uh, moving north. We are done around home. What we're gonna do with the ground rig? Uh, got some of our smaller fields, crookeder fields that we're gonna do with the airplane because I feel like I might run over too much with it. Um, so while we are making the travel, I figured it was a good time to talk about this sprayer and the John Deere sprayer. Have now at least ran them both a little bit, so I at least have a little bit of opinion, even though I am not the sprayer man, so full disclosure. You know I seem to be spraying this year. But I have time to talk about because since I'm full, because I'm hitting a field on the way. I don't know if you can see that or not. 20 mile an hour. We complained about before. I think maybe the new one goes a little faster. I mean, even 25 would be a lot better. But uh, making the move. Think about how disgusting this sprayer is with all this pollen all over it. And how much of a job it's going to be to clean it off, but it's worth it. Um, Things I like about this sprayer, of course I like that it's tall, like that it's got a front boom so we can fungicide with it. Things I like about the John Deere is I like their handle. It's got a lot more handles stuff on it. This one, just boom controls, spray and auto steer, and then there's gear shift on the side. Whereas the John Deere's got a lot of different things on there. I don't know, I like them both. Just think of either one, either one of them would be great. We are moving along. Like I said, done fungiciding with the Heggy around home, heading north, gonna hit a field on the way up to Robinson. Hopefully get it all done tomorrow and then Illinois will be fungicide and then head to Indiana Monday. Hopefully it rains Saturday like there's a good chance to because we can use it. Even though we've had some fields get rains here, we got some fields not getting rains, spotty, you know, summer rains. That's how it goes in the summer. Crops looking great. This is fun though. A lot of fun. You get to see the corn. Get cover the acres fast. As long as everything keeps working, everything's been working great. Well, I got something I was gonna show you. One thing that I think is a must for this, because you get so much pollen in it, you get your radiator filled up. This thing can reverse its radiator fan and actually blow out to shoot that stuff out so to keep it cleaned off a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to do that now. It's pretty neat. I never know how good you guys can see it on the screen and the camera until I go to edit. Where you just do your fan reverse, just one little button. See it's going forward, now it's transitioning. Put it in neutral or get it quit spinning. Now it's transitioning. Now it's blowing it backwards. 
can't really see it now, but in the middle of the day when everything gets dry, pollen really stuck sticks to your radi the, your radiator screen back there. And that just when you reverse that, man, you can see the pollen go everywhere. It just shoots it. Hopefully the last day here in Illinois. I think we got like 450, 500 acres, something like that to do. Should be able to get it done. I don't think there's much chance of rain today. Good chance tomorrow, which we'd love to have. And then uh, hopefully go over and knock out Indiana next week, which is 1,500 acres. So two and a half days, three days, two and a half days, three days. Got to move over there. So. Uh, yeah, that's the goal. I guess we should talk about fungicide timing a little bit. That's just kind of a guessing game. On corn and beans, you want the day before the big disease shows up, which good luck figuring that out. But we always like to least be tasseled because what it does is it has a residual and it's medicine for the corn and it protects the corn for at least three weeks. Depends what kind you have. We use Veltima because it's supposed to have a little lasting Longer lasting residual, they say six weeks, who knows? Anyways, we think it's longer because we have tested it against Approach Prima, anyways, in soybeans, and we show all uh, yield benefits, so we think it's worth the extra money. It's a little more expensive. I've not tested against Tribe Pro, but we have tested Tribe Pro against Approach Prima. We didn't see much difference, and it's more expensive than Approach Prima, so we stuck with it. But we now switched to Veltima. Using a different one in beans this year, we used Veltima in beans last year. Switch to something else this year and I'm not even sure what it is. Can't remember the name right now. Yeah, I know. Terrible YouTube farmer, YouTuber. But, get spraying beans, I'll remember. But, yeah, we like to uh, at least have it tassel because that's that's very important time. It starts pollinating the ear, then it starts filling the ear. So we want that plant to be as healthy as possible. There's some great leaf spot out there now, so I feel like we should be doing it now. Uh, the benefit to waiting a little longer is we get some southern rust, which comes in a little later. Hopefully that residual will still be there for it. And hopefully it'll still be there for it now when we're putting it on, but never know that's gonna come in or not. I have put it on before that I thought was too early because 1464 got a little northern late, but it was able to uh, do its thing before it killed the plant and it still was one of our best fields so yeah that's why I think we're supposed to do it and then uh, beans is a little tougher you want to get at least 15 18 nodes high then three nodes down you want it to start but they say uh, I can't remember what they say three eighths of an inch or a quarter inch long pod which is basically a pod that's about how long they are when they start forming so pod and three down when it's 15 18 tall depending on the bean how late they were planting and all that stuff so yeah this is the last thing we're doing on the dry land corn we fed it and everything and now we're giving it it's it's vaccine if you will to keep it healthy as long as possible before it starts dying in the fall of course the irrigated stuff we will still be putting water to it so dry land this is the last last thing we can do for you and then it's just it's time to do its thing and sit and wait off to the field
look, I show you this field, it's pretty unique. Lincoln Trail College on one side, the Robinson Correctional Facility on the other. Remember the first time I worked this field, there was a college, well, a junior college baseball game going on over there, and prisoners working out in the yard over there. Most entertaining time I ever had working ground. Yeah, it's 2012. Yeah, 2012, the year of the drought, was our first year farming up here. Not a good first year, to say the least. All right, last field in Illinois. This is a very good field, I like this field. Got a split here between two hybrids. You should be able to see, hopefully through that dirty windshield. 11.85 a.m. It's 11.08 Q. We'll see who wins in the fall. But thanks for watching. As always, want your Ivers merch. Ivers farms at myshopify.com for that. Thanks for watching. And hopefully next week we'll be talking about this nice rain we get tonight, tomorrow. So see you then.